Welcome to Revit 2010, the transition from AutoCAD. My name is Rob Fender, architect and professor. I've been teaching at the community college level since 1986, primarily teaching the AutoCAD program. Recently, I started teaching the Revit program. This lesson is intended as a demo lesson to show the user how my instructional process works. Each lesson will have a lesson objective. In the lesson objective, I will, I will outline what will be covered in that particular lesson. And this one will show the format of the overall audio video lesson. We'll toggle between PowerPoint slides, AutoCAD program, and Revit program. The AutoCAD program is a pre-2010 version, and in the Revit program, we'll show both pre-2010 and 2010 versions of the program. There'll be an objective, objective slide, which is what we're looking at right now. There'll be an introduction to the subject, in this case, draw a wall. We'll see how to draw walls in the AutoCAD environment and the Revit environment and then we'll have a lesson review. So for this first step, to help those who are transitioning from AutoCAD, I try to display similar applications between both Revit and AutoCAD. Drawing walls in the basic AutoCAD program isn't all that difficult, but an understanding of how the program works is necessary. In this example, we will draw some basic lines, offset those lines, use the offset command to clean up intersections. The file utilized for this exercise was set up to accept the input from the user. The C program in white on these slides is a reminder to the author to toggle over to the program to view the results of the text. Draw some walls in AutoCAD. With the line command in the middle of the screen, select an arbitrary point. Drag the cursor in ortho horizontally on the screen and pick a second point. Continue drawing by dragging vertically down the screen and select a third point. Drag, the hor drag horizontally to the left and select a fourth po arbitrary point. Cancel out of the line command and roll over back into the line command utilizing OSNAP endpoint. Snap to the left hand end of the first line drawn. Draw a new line vertically down the screen to an arbitrary point. The right hand vertical line and the bottom horizontal line need to be cleaned up. With the fillet command, select both of these lines on the portion of the lines to remain. The result will be the two lines connected together at a common point of intersection. Utilizing the offset command, set the offset distance to 8 inches and offset each of the exterior lines to the inside of the rectangle. Again with the fillet command, clean up each of the inside intersections. This is a way to draw walls in the AutoCAD program, not the only way. Okay, so here's the AutoCAD program, a pre-2010 version, and the program has already been set up. So what we're going to do is select the line command. It's already in ortho, so I'll pick an arbitrary point. I'll drag horizontally across the screen to some arbitrary point and pick a second point. Drag vertically down the screen, pick a third point, and then I'll drag horizontally back some arbitrary distance and pick a fourth point. Okay, I'll cancel out of the command and roll over back into the command. And with object snap endpoint, snap to the left hand endpoint of the very first line that I've drawn. I'll then drag vertically straight down the screen and pick a second arbitrary point. And then cancel out of the command. So in this area right here, you can see we have the two lines crossing each other. The common point of intersection is where they connect. So utilizing the fillet command, I'll select the two lines, the portions that I want to keep, getting rid of the portions that extend beyond the common point of intersection. Okay, then utilizing the offset command, 
I'll set my offset distance to 8 inches, and I'll offset each of the exterior lines 8 inches to the inside of the plan. And then back to the fillet command, I'll select the portions of the interior lines I want to keep, cleaning up the intersections at the common point of intersection. So I'm rolling over between each one of these applications. Okay, now to Revit. Start out by creating a new project utilizing the standard template available with Revit program. From the ribbon across the top of the screen, in the Home tab, select the Wall command. The ribbon will display a number of options including the Type selector where the user can pick from a number of different wall options. For this exercise, we'll just use the default wall type. Because this is just a demo, we don't have any other settings established. Just draw some walls in the middle of the screen. Out in the middle of the screen, move the cursor to a starting location and pick an arbitrary point. Connected to the crosshairs will be a rubber bending wall. Notice that the program will automatically snap into predetermined angles, very similar to the AutoCAD ortho and polar options. After selecting the first point, move the cursor horizontally on the screen to a second point and select that point, drawing the first wall. Now drag the cursor vertically down the screen, snapping into the vertical mode, and pick a third point. Continue creating walls, drawing horizontally to the left until the cursor aligns with the beginning point of the first wall drawn. At this point, a blue green dashed alignment line will appear on the screen. Pick this point, assuring that the end point of the walls align with the beginning point of the first wall. Next, just draw vertically up the screen, connecting onto the left-hand end point of the first wall. The result will be four walls, eight inches thick, with all the wall intersections cleaned up. Okay, so let's see how that works first with the Revit 2008 version of the program. From the design bar on the left hand side, I'll pick the wall command. On the options toolbar, it already indicates an 8 inch generic wall. I'll pick my starting point, drag horizontally on the screen, pick a second point, drag vertically down the screen. You can see how the program locks into position on specific angles. And this is where you'll see the blue-green dash alignment line. And when you see that point, you know the two endpoints are aligned. I'll drag vertically up the screen, closing back to the starting point. So let's see, now let's see what it looks like in the Revit 2010 version of the program. Okay, on the ribbon, as opposed to the design bar, pick the wall command. The ribbon now becomes the options toolbar. You can see in the type selector, we have a basic wall generic 8 inches. So I pick my starting point, drag horizontally to an arbitrary point, drag vertically. Again, you can see the alignment line snaps into a vertical position. Drag horizontally. As soon as the end point aligns, there's the alignment line. Pick that point, then drag back to the starting point and pick that point. So a review of the lesson. We show the format of the overall audio video lesson. We utilize the PowerPoint slides, the AutoCAD program, the Revit program, and the Revit we use pre-2010 and the 2010 version of the program. We have a lesson objective slides. We have some walls. We both draw those walls in both the AutoCAD environment and the Revit environment. And then we have a lesson review, which is this slide. Thank you for watching and go to revitonline.com or revittutorials.com.